What's up, everybody? Graver here, and today we are doing something a little different. Um, I have done a few of these in the past, but this is the first time I'm doing one for somebody else. Uh, so I've done a couple of the McFarlane Warhammer Space Marines, um, Astartes figures, uh, customized them up. I did the just generic Space Marine as a custom Ravenwing figure for myself when McFarlane released the Dark Angels series, or Dark Angels figures, I got the artist proof and I did a custom one just for me, so it's all done up with Griever, in my Griever colors, uh, with a little bit of the Ravenwing in there, because that technically is the faction I go with, even though it's part of the Dark Angels, but whatever. Uh, but they released some Space Wolves, and... I reached out to my buddy George, a.k.a. Wolfboy, to see if, hey, did you want me to make one for you? So, that's what we're doing in this video. Um, and I've spoken about my friend George on the channel a couple of times. Uh, he has a channel, Wolfboy Gaming. A uh, link to that will be down in the description below. We've done the video series over on his channel, uh, Introducing Friends to and me him and our friend Chelsea, a.k.a. Stargal, who we did the PC for a couple of years ago. Uh, we all did that series, and hopefully we'll be coming back soon. Can't make any promises, because it's his stuff, not mine. But, let's go over to the workbench, so we can take a look at the figure itself, and figure out what I'm going to be doing for this thing. Okay, so here we have the Space Wolf Wolfguard Artist Proof. Um, the artist proofs are what I have used to do my custom ones. And honestly, it's a little easier to work with because you're basically working with a blank slate, which is why I kind of enjoy these. Um, I've seen plenty more, much more talented artists do a lot more with just basically any figure they have, but I kind of like to work in my comfort zone. So that's why I'm using these particular ones. So... So anyway, so here's what we get in the figure. Um, what is this? Oh no, that's just the, Okay, so oh cool, it can it comes with a card now. Mine didn't. My Dark Angel didn't come with a card, but like, honestly, this is actually really nice artwork, I must say. So you get that two different hands. Uh, the backpack, an axe, a bolter, and the figure itself. So, wow, these they made these a lot easier to get out than previous. And here on the left pauldron, we have the Space Wolf insignia, um, along with some runes, and again, the Space Wolf logo there. The figure itself, and some really neat um, additions on the pack here. Uh, some runes carved in on the bolter instead of instead of a uh, purity seal, and uh, of course this really kind of badass axe. Although it's a little warped, but I can fix that as we go about stuff. So. And then the two hands, one pointing and one just closed fist, but I don't know. I'll probably still paint these up and include them if he wants to switch them out, but I'm just going to leave the open hand so this way weapons can be put in there for display purposes. So, where I did my Dark Angel in my custom colors, which is purple, gray, silver, and red, uh, my friend George wanted me to do custom colors on his rather than just the standard Space Wolf. So the primary colors we're going to be using are this uh, Morgast Bone because he wanted a tan cream color, which this was honestly a really nice way to go about it. Um, a dark green, which I still have all this Caliban green, which... <laughs> uh, and then I'm also going to use uh, Retributor Armor uh, for the gold coloring. And then the rest of these are mainly just going to be like kind of the accent colors, additional colors I'm going to be using. Although I realize I am going to need probably a red for the gem in the center there. 
um, which I think I have. If not, I may have to get it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the figure, just clean up any lines that would need be. And I have to say, as the McFarlane figures have been coming out, I have found more and more times, well, there's a little back there, but that's just, um, you know, not major. But I have to say, a good amount of the McFarlane figures that I have been able to get have not needed a lot of cleanup, which is really nice. And Ooh, that arm's a little loose. Don't like that. We'll have to see what I can do with that. But again, um, so yeah, I'm going to break this down, uh, get the base coat on it, which I'm going to wind up using my charcoal gray vinyl dye, which I use on basically 90% of my projects, uh, just to give this a good base coat for the paints to adhere to. Um, take off some of the glossiness that's on here and then uh, just start getting to work on it um, so yeah uh, if you want a breakdown of how I actually break these um, I think my original Raven wing has that but I just want to get started on this because this has been kind of in my shop waiting for warm weather so we're going to get this broken down I'll probably show you some of the uh, I'll definitely be doing progress, obviously. Uh, but yeah, I'll once it's all broken down and uh, painted up, then we'll start figuring out where I want to get started. Because unfortunately, unlike the other ones, this figure actually has an open head. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do not only a much better eye, but also um, flesh tones and such. So yeah. Um, didn't realize it when I got the figure, so that's going to be fun, but hey, it's the only way I'm going to get better at stuff. So, all right, uh, so I'm going to start breaking this down and I will see you all in a moment. Okay, so I know I said I would provide updates as I went along, but I was seriously working on this at nights, like in between different things here and there, so... I honestly, I didn't record it, but I will show you where I'm at right now before I finish off because I'm literally in the home stretch. So we have the weapons really left to do. Um, here we have the uh, axe. I have to finish up painting this up. We have the bolter, which little bit of cleanup on one side and I still have to do the other but this that's all that's left on there but now let's get to the body um, the backpack and the head are getting finished up they're got clear coat on them right now so those are drying uh, but yeah it's, I mean honestly this came out really good I'm I'm honestly impressed with the um, the color palette on how well this worked especially with the majority being this like ivory color or ivory ish color uh, did the best I could do. But, and this also had a lot more intricate details than when I did my, <clears throat> my dark angel. Uh, we have the, the wolf and crossbone on the arm here, uh, which wasn't too terribly bad. And then you have like the little electronic panel on the right arm, which, same thing on mine but the one thing that was like kind of throwing me was these leather straps with all the trinkets on it so i did uh just a straight rhinox hide for basically any of the leather and i did a mix of the rhinox and the steel legion drab to actually make um the wolf pelt itself or at least that's what i'm assuming is a wolf pelt um i also and i know it's on the littlest things that i actually do this on but like i actually did make custom paints besides for that but also for the stone with the rune in it um it's very hard to pick up on camera but i actually did use and it's also on the panel here um the Fenrisian Grey, which is what I believe a Space Wolf is normally supposed to be in. 
for filling in the detail there and then just adding there adding it to there just to give that little you know space actual space wolf touch um i also did just because they were very much more pronounced there than anywhere else on the um the body um the scratches that were on the legs i did try and highlight them or fill them in with lead belcher just so this way you can see some of the scuffs on it and so it's not just all pristine it does have some wear and tear on it but yeah that is where this guy lands and then you're you'll see the final results in a moment i just gotta finish putting this bad boy together and then that's gonna be it on this project okay so i have completed the space wolf finally um yeah, honestly, the the crappy weather that wound up hitting Jersey uh, really is what kind of slowed this up. Uh, but yeah, the Space Wolf is complete. Uh, completely, the paint job is all done. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm not used to painting things with such light colors. <laughs> and I've learned light colors highlight mistakes very easily. Um, so yeah, I prefer definitely <laughs> working with the darker colors, um, because it's easier to hide crimes, but yeah, over and all, um, I'm really happy with how this guy came out. Um, I'll also try and do a couple of good close up shots to insert here, but I figured since this is a very detailed close up, uh, thing, I figured that's why I'm ending the video more so like this um rather than my traditional way of doing the video but yeah the space wolf himself is all said and done uh did more um not weathering but um highlighting um damage on the legs just because those gashes were a little bit more pronounced than they were on the upper armor itself um following the theme that um my buddy george wanted which was cream gold and green uh primarily the cream color which would have been i guess the uh that uh Fenrisian gray uh blue that the space wolf is normally but i did still try and incorporate that a little bit here and there um the one thing i did want to really kind of highlight in regards to that was and of course it's always the littlest of details that you put the most work into that sometimes you're wondering if it pays off but you know it's worth it but on the arm uh the panel and those buttons are actually the Fenrisian gray so i did get actual space wolf color in here and also this rune that is on his uh leg which it's gonna be hard to kind of focus but um there's a stone with a rune on here. I actually did the rune with the Fenrisian Gray as well. Um, some uh, Just a few little fun things I want to point out. Um, instead of the ruby that would be on the chest plate, uh, he want, my buddy George wanted a sapphire, so I did it blue. And I actually did have to mix up a, custom, a few custom colors. Um, one was for the stone itself. <laughs> Uh, the other was actually for the fur on uh, the front of him because I had a light brown, I had a dark brown, but I was using those in conjunction. So I'm like, all right, I'll just mix it. And that's how actually how I got that one. Uh, the pack itself, I think I did a pretty good job on it. Um, there was a few spots that it was just... I really didn't know what to do with it. So I just made it primarily the cream color, a little bit of anything that I could really kind of knock off as metallic. I did in the gold and then just the uh, vent plate covers. I just did in the green uh, for the fangs and also the bones on here. Uh, I did just use wraith bone because it has bone in the name. So it was the most simplest thing to do. For the weapons, he didn't want anything fancy. He just said, you know what? Make him the traditional Space Wolf. So that's what I did. I just did the um, gunmetal and the black on here. 
And again, for the runes, I just did the Fenrisian Grey to make them really pop. And I did the same thing on the Battle Axe itself. The one thing I will say with the Battle Axe for the Edge, I did actually use some rub, uh, some metallic ribbon buff on there. So this way it just made the Edge a little bit more pronounced and show the wear on it. So yeah, that was that. Was that. And then also I had ordered dice from uh, Kraken Dice a while back and they had like a nice special, but they also gave me this Werewolf Mini, which... I had no idea what I was going to be doing with it. So I said to hell with it. My buddy goes by Wolf Boy. So I painted up the werewolf for him. And I mean, this was literally the first mini I ever actually painted. Um, I don't actually count Magnus because Arlene did all the painting on that. And the, um, the, the space, the space Marines that I've done, they've just been bigger than your standard mini. But yeah, the Space Wolf is done. And I got to say, I'm pretty pleased how they came, how this came out. I really do enjoy working on these McFarlane figures. They're not the easiest thing to take apart at times. But when you get to paint them up and customize them like this, it really, it's really just fun. I mean, it's basically for me, it's like taking apart a Nerf gun and painting and customizing it and all it's just these are a little bit maybe easier to display so <laughs> so that's going to be it for this video and as always if you enjoy the content we put here on the channel please throw us a like and subscribe leave a comment down below uh let me know what you think of the custom space wolf and if you maybe have a thought of a mcfarland figure or a figure i may want to uh just come up with either my own custom uh theme for or something let me know in the comments down below i'd love to hear them especially if you enjoyed stuff like this um i know this is like kind of a big departure from what we usually do here but you know it's still it's always fun to change it up now and then and oh don't forget to click that little bell icon otherwise you may not know when me and arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel and don't forget we still have the p.o box so if you want to send us some snail mail you know lost art it's always fun Everyone enjoys getting mail, seriously. Uh, but again, that's going to be it for this video. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later.